So probably the most common problem is the first layer not sticking. We can fix that with PEI sheets. As I've said in, in previous videos, those PEI sheets are a blessing to the 3D printing world. I learned it through Prusa and now I just start buying them. So other problems, bed won't level correctly, clock nozzles, parts look like strands of spaghetti noodles and temperature control or mostly a lack thereof. Most of the problems you're gonna run into in the 3D printing world have to do with Z-gap. Here's some things to know. Airflow is extremely important. Do I need airflow? Do I not need airflow? And it depends largely on the filament. I think the nozzle gap is probably the most important of all. If we get the nozzle gap correct, then we're gonna be in good shape. You can see in the picture over there to the right, you can see that the nozzle has a little gauge to it, right? Between, and it's basically the equivalent of a piece of paper. If we take a piece of paper and we put it between the nozzle and the bed, there should be a slight grab to it. When we use the PEI sheets, I actually liken it more to like a playing card, like a deck of cards. Sometimes even like a business card would work. Temperatures are extremely important. You know, um, we can cause things to cool too quickly. We can cause, you know, if we use the wrong temperature for the wrong filament, all kinds of things can go down. And then a cool down is actually a very important concept as well. We need to not only let the machine cool down, but we need to let the print cool down. And then infill quality is kind of a big deal as well. So here in this picture is an example of what I would call pillowing. So it's a real thin layer. And you can kind of see in here, it didn't just, it just didn't gel together well. Okay, because it was a real thin layer, um, there are a couple things we could do. We could increase the top layer or the, you know, a perimeter layer or an outer shell layer, depends on what slicer you're using. I typically run into this problem when I don't use enough infill or when I don't use enough shell layers or outer layers.